Hi there. UiPath Studio gives everyone from business users to advanced developers the right automation canvas to build great software robots. It's at the heart of automation with UiPath products. It all starts with activities used to form comprehensive workflows in Studio to be published to Orchestrator and then executed remotely by the robot. Whether it's Studio, Studio Pro or Studio X that you opt for, they're all built to suit everyone, from developers to business users. Studio X is addressed to business users or non-developers that want to automate a simple task for themselves or their team. Studio offers a multitude of tools for designing complex and large workflows and the ability to run attended or unattended robots. Studio Pro additionally offers access to test suite features such as application testing, RPA testing, API test automation and mobile automation. Once you open Studio, you're greeted with a Start tab. Here, you can open an already existing project or create a new one, either from scratch or from a predefined template. On the left, you can open the Team tab. This provides access to source control repositories in Git, TFS and SVN. The Tools tab allows you to install several extensions that let you automate with browsers and different applications. The Settings tab is where to look if you need to configure Studio to better fit your wants and needs. Here, you can change the theme, behavior, paths, or switch to Studio X. In case you are one of our community users, the license defaults to Studio Pro, but you don't get official support for the product. If you need help, we made sure that you have access to all of the required information to aid you in your automation path. Let's create a new process to acquaint you with the flow and user interface. Fill in the process name, choose its location, type in a description and click Create. You're then presented with four main sections, the ribbon menu, the designer panel, the project, activities and snippets panels and the properties and outline panels. The ribbon menu is straightforward and can be either minimized or expanded to suit your preferences. We've already talked about the Home tab, so let's move to Design. This is where you can add different automations, such as sequences, flowcharts, and state machines to your project, install and manage activities packages, build interactions with UI elements, and then publish your work to Orchestrator or custom feeds. Keep in mind that some wizards in the ribbon depend on certain activities packages. In the Designer panel, click Open Main Workflow and you'll unveil the core of your new process. To add activities, click the plus sign in the middle of the screen or hit Ctrl Shift T. Search for the one that you need and add it to the flow. Now, there's an alert notifying us that we need to supply the arguments value. Type in the desired text between quotes and you're done. It's just that easy to create a simple process. The project panel enables you to view the contents of the current project, add folders, open the file location, manage dependencies and adjust project settings. The activities panel shows available activities that can be added to the current workflow. Use the search box to find activities or navigate through them by using the navigation keys and drag and drop them to the currently opened file. The snippets panel lets you easily reuse automations. It includes, by default, multiple samples and snippets, which you can easily drag and drop to your flow. The Properties panel enables you to view and change the properties of a selected activity, while the Outline panel displays the project hierarchy and all the available variables and nodes. Here's a glimpse of what you might end up building with Studio if you start using automation today. This example uses Document Understanding, one of our many useful frameworks. The Debug tab, just as the name suggests, allows you to debug your workflow by setting breakpoints, adjusting the process's speed, monitoring the execution of activities and other useful features. Let's give our process a try. When debugging is paused, the Locals panel comes in handy, allowing you to view and live edit values of arguments and variables. There are a couple more things to mention. In the top right corner, you have the command palette, which you can also access by hitting Control shift p This incorporates four very useful search bars. Add activity, jump to activity, 
go to File and Universal Search. You can always click the Send Feedback button if you want to submit an idea for the product or report a bug. Fill in the details as desired, click Send, and your feedback will go directly to the product team. Now that you've learned how to use UiPath Studio, you're ready to embark on your automation journey. Thanks for watching.